And welcome back to Stalwart Pachyderm and Let's Play Star Drive 2 No Shields Run. It's been a while since I played this game and I'm trying to get reacquainted with everything. I think I know what happened last. Last time, as I remember, we lost a star to the, uh, whatchamacallums. I think, as I remember it, we finished the research project afterwards. Like, it's been a couple of turns, I think. Um, so we need to rebuild our fleet. And I was taking a look at some comments that people had made, and we need to redesign some ships based on that knowledge. Basically, what I was seeing was that with um, Arc Extended, you get 180 degree coverage, but these aren't 180 degree coverage, and that's because I had Rapid Fire on. Right? Rapid Fire? Or is it Range Extended? No, it was the overload. That's right, overload was dropping them down. So, we can do these. Range extended and rapid fire. And we need to replace all these. Get that done. And honestly, if you want the most... Um, I was also reading some math that was done by some people who are much smarter than me. And found out that, honestly, if you want the most powerful energy cannon possible... 99% of the time, the laser cannon 3x3 three three beats out everything else. 9 times out of 10. 90% of the time, the 3x3 three three laser cannon is the most powerful laser or energy cannon in the game. Um, the 2x2 two two disruptor is almost as good. Almost as good. There's a few instances where the disruptor cannon 2x2 two two beats out the 3x3 three three laser. Um, but the other advantage the 2x2 two two disruptor has is it's easier to fit on certain designs. So you can have thicker armor belts or more conveniently placed guns. So, basically, that's the the, the math supports it. I don't I don't pretend to be smart enough to. Uh, I, did I really did not say that? No, I did say that. No, I didn't. No, I did. Okay, yay. And we need to update this design as well. Getting rid of the overloaded. This gives us better uh, weapon arc ranges and not really dropper damage. So, save, confirm, and uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to update. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. And we need to rebuild a fleet. Um, aren't we at war with the Volfar? Oh no, we just finished up a war with him. He's paying us tribute. Or maybe I'm paying him tribute to not be a war. One of the ways. Tribute's being paid. <laughs> is it me or is it him? Uh, no, I'm paying tribute. 32 BC a turn. Ouch, that's steep. Nasty. And that's all because I currently don't have a fleet. Yeah. I saw that was going to happen right before I started the game. I was like, I don't want to fix that. I need to get a fleet up here to deal with the uh, the stuff up there. Um, hello? Build, please. That should have been already building, but it wasn't. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. And... Of course, the collect is going to be annoying. We're going to have to fight him as well. Building extra superstructure, okay. And down here. Uh. Really? I'm that tight on food production right now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
Ooh. Oh boy. Because I need to, yeah. I need to do this. Aeroponic, uh, biospheres, factory, military antennae. Probably do this and all my asteroid belts actually. I should probably have all my asteroid belts with that stuff built actually. And you're an asteroid belt. I need to get this stuff going on you as well. You're not an asteroid belt, but you need that, you need that, you need that, you need that. Alright. Let me get all my planets figured out here. This is our homeworld, which is primarily a uh, little bit of science, but primarily food production. And <coughs> mm -hmm. do that for now. <coughs> yeah, you're building the airpunks farm, then you're building the fleet. And you are airpunk farms up top. Okay. Alright, I think we're good for another turn in processing. <sighs> I have to get closer. Alright, let's see here. Oof. It's expensive. I just don't think there's a good alternative right now. We just... Oh, there we go. In the <laughs> system name system. Oh, my goodness. Learned the system name. Hey, Zero, I think I could hack your program now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Unfortunately, that system is now gone. All right, and need to come there to build in that system now. No, you can build in that system. Uh, you can come up here. Uh, you want industrial infrastructure? What do you have that interests me? Clean energy would be really nice, but you're never going to trade me 50 up. And that's the only thing on here that I even want. Well, Xeno Intelligence might be nice, but I mean, it's so inexpensive, point-wise, but it still costs me all of my, yeah. Nope, nothing I want. Exit. Planetary supercomputer has been researched. Alright, let's see here. We have a expensive... Not quite as expensive, not quite as expensive, expensive and expensive. Okay, so theoretically we should research one of these three, or one of these two. Uh, see, none of these torpedoes are very good. They're all really awful in the damage, in, in the uh, damage charts. If you actually compare per tile, per energy how much damage these three weapons here do. They're the th they're three of the lowest damage weapons in the game. 
They're just utterly atrocious. <laughs> they don't do anything good. There's no reason to ever use them. Um, is there anything beyond them that I really want? Uh, field fuel cells would be the next tech to get after that. After that is advanced power density, which we do want. Um, advanced power density. Advanced ECM is also so good. But then there's tons of shielding after that. And that's... So the very last thing in this field tech that we really want is advanced power density. I think actually we go for antimatter reactors at this point in preparation for our advanced armor. We want all the research we can, so we'll take that one even though it costs money. He wants fusion power. Does he have anything... He's got a ton of tech I don't have. Is anything really amazing? Clean energy, battle stations are also nice. Um, uh, main engineering, I would dearly love to have. I mean, I have no tolerance with him. He'd be a good person for me to fight for tech once I get a fleet up. Okay. We're nowhere near completion on our first ship here, are we? Six turns? Alright. 